Okay, what's up? What's going on? Today we bring you another video. We have a sneaker review. We have the Alexander McQueen somethings, yellow something. I don't know, but y'all see the box. These are shoes. It comes already warm, so I can tell you everything about them now. But they don't come with these leather laces. I put these in because you know this is like a a high luxury shoe, I guess. But still, you know, Reebok, so how luxury you can get. Uh, but the shoes is pretty cold. Pretty cool. Let me talk to you more about the boxing. The box is it's pretty standard. It's just like a simple, classy look you can, I guess, because it's all white. The shiny material. Shiny reflected material i don't know but it do have like what call y'all gonna see b-rolls but they got like the number system of margella i don't know what that is the number system. i don't have I, I don't wear margella so i don't know what the number system is i guess it's showing you what type of brand it is not brand type of class of it is so 22 i guess is their sneaker class and like 21 probably shirts 14 probably kids wear stuff like that i don't don't take my word on that i assume that's just come the first thing come up to my head when you look at like clothing and stuff like that but yeah they come with two dust baths the dust baths really don't do anything uh let me show you how it is it just meant to put on the bottom of your shoe that's it i don't it don't take up the whole shoe it don't cover the whole shoe this is like that. I kind of don't see the purpose of that. Or, you know, let's say if you painted houses or, yeah, you painted houses and you know how to, the people who paint houses have the little things on when they don't walk on, walk on your carpet with. So when you do that, so you can use that if you want to paint around the house. This is a luxury type of, what it called dust bag so you could be like you know you got money so you like those luxury stuff painting houses or paint your own house like that but yeah that's a little 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 thing i want to say uh what else the wrapping paper the wrapping paper do got again the number system of margella don't know what that is can't really tell you about that because i don't these are my only margellas i already got three pair of margellas three play or three box margellas because anything else margellas i don't I don't will. Not in, in my style. I like Reebok. I will put the box up here and move all my, but the camera on here, y'all can see the little flash. And I don't want that, you know, messing up the video. So I'm not gonna put the box up there. But you know, I'm not gonna put the box up there. Uh, let's get into the sneaker. We have the distress look. Not the distress. The un taping look i guess so you kind of said discreet because it's instead of putting the whole leather on everything they just got the part where the leather would be and they just got it open up exposed to where you can see at and they took the reebok symbol out and put it on the inside of the shoe so i think that's pretty cool i like that feature a lot and this is a kind of a bulky shoe so i wear a size nine and a half and i gotta like i really wear a nine and a half to it a nine sometimes a ten depends what it is but these are bulky shoes so i have to get a size nine instead of size 10 so a size 10 is a 42 42 a size 10 is a 42 and a size 40 so yeah 40 is a size nine so i got a size 40 i assume that what it is if i'm doing it right and then like i said i got a size nine i don't know if i said that i probably said size 10 but i meant to say size nine Cause the shoes is bulky when i put on my feet they look kind of big so the nine do pretty cool on me i like it a lot make it look a tiny smaller because i do work like skinnier jeans i don't want to be like a bulky shoe that just pop it out uh i wish they did go to leather laces they use if i got the laces right here i do have the laces it's just regular white laces they do feel kind of more thicker i don't know yeah i assume it feel more thicker than regular sneaker laces i assume i changed all my laces on my shoes so i can't really tell you 
high ends. I just don't remember the last time I kept the regular laces and some of my shoes. I always change it to some type of stuff. But leather, I went with leathers, make it look more high class look. That's pretty cool. I like that. I was thinking about putting this, like this off yellow type of laces in it, but I can never find. I ain't never found one because I got these off of Amazon. And yeah, I never found the laces. I just got these white ones off of Amazon. And it was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I did wear it a little bit, if y'all can see, more than a little bit, a lot. I wore these shoes like twice, so I don't know how they're so dirty. It's just the bottom dirty. If y'all can see, I ain't never clean these. It's just the bottom dirty, but the top is like brand new. That's pretty weird to me. Uh, no scrape marks because I didn't stuff my feet a lot, but that's the shoes on that one. Uh... I would might do it on feet, depends if I feel like they're on feet or not, but yeah, these shoes is pretty cool. I will compare, let me show you. I do have three pairs of my gels. They already got like seven, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I got 12, 11 pairs of my gels, Reebok collab. Oh, this the Club Seeds, I think, 11 pairs. Or if it's 11 pairs altogether, it's something like that. Y'all gonna see a little picture on the screen to show you the correct number. But I do got, Three pairs of the Margellas. I got the red pair, this black one. And obviously y'all see this yellows, white one. So that's pretty cool. And all of them, if y'all gonna see my other videos, but all of them got the leather laces. I put in all of them to show high classy look. So it was a high fashion type of thing. So they have this. I do want to collect all the Rebox ones or all the Margiela Rebox ones. If I don't know if I keep saying the same thing over and over. All the club seed ones, they do got other root boxes of them. I'm not a fan of this. I just love club sleeves. That's my favorite ones or my favorite shoe ever. So that, I love the inside of it. It'll show you that little number tab. The shoes is cut out right here. A little discretion at the tongue. Like the shoes is pretty cool. If do is these shoes worth six hundred dollars? Like six seventy five? Is it worth that? No. They obviously feel like some regular Reeboks. I am not gonna lie to you. The leather don't feel. Yeah, the leather don't feel like no high price. Like these, the leather on these, these are like the gray, the gay pride ones. This leather on the gay pride ones feel way more smoother and better than the leather on these 600 pair of shoes, $600 pair of shoes. And these is like 80. I think the gay pride ones, yeah, like 80. But you know, you probably could find some gay pride ones for like 50, 70. Yeah, like 50, like 50 or 40 something dollars. You probably could find me. But yeah, but they don't feel nothing different. I don't like all these flat tabs on it. It's everywhere. I guess it's just a look. Uh, I got this little stitching thing in the back of it. That's pretty cool. There's nothing really to say about these because these shoes are basic. Like, Y'all, like I said, y'all might see on feet, depends how I feel, but this shoe is basically basic. Uh, it'll be better ones than other ones, but that's it for me. I hope y'all like, comment, subscribe, leave a like, comment. If you don't want to do that, subscribe. If you don't want to do that, can't tell you to do. Peace.
Get in the car, get in the car, hurry up for the Costco.